What is up guys and welcome back to the NCAA Football 15 Dynasty with the Utah Utes where today the Utes at 1-3 will be taking on the undefeated number one in the country UCLA Bruins and we'll be going up against Heisman candidate Brett Hundley who's trying to lead the Bruins to a national championship in an undefeated season Utah's trying to spoil their hopes here today should be a good one Utah's gonna need a lot of help though Let's get right into it. So here we go. UCLA will kick it off to start the game. And we are underway here in Pasadena. Anderson will take it out of the end zone. He's going to get to the 10. And will be stopped before he can go anywhere. So here comes the Utah offense. James Poole will get the handoff. And he will get one on the play. James Poole rushing for 57 yards last week. Going to need a little bit more from him this week if we want to get a win. Wilson drops back to throw, and it is nearly intercepted. Ishmael Adams on a deflection that time. Wilson will drop back again here on third and nine, and it's picked off. Miles Jack, the two-way linebacker running back, picks off. Travis Wilson is now Brett Hundley will take over. He'll try to run it, but VJ Vahoko says none of that. A loss of three on the play, and now the Bruins have it again. Hundley, he's dropping back to throw. He throws and he misses his target big time. So it'll be fourth and eight now as the Utah defense holds them in the red zone. And the kick is up, but they'll still will get three points. So now the Utah offense back out there. Poole's going to run it. He's going to cut it back inside and he's going to get the first down. And he does. 11 on the play. So here we go on first and 10 now. We're going to give it to Poole again. He's got room to the outside. He's got some space. One man to beat trips him up. As he falls over the 45-yard line, James Poole. Another great run. First and 10 now, Wilson. He'll scramble out. He throws, and it is cut that time by Harrison Hanley. A great-looking drive so far here by the Utes. Wilson will drop back again to throw. He will throw, and he's got Dress Anderson over the middle. For the first down. Utah's got to cut down the turnovers if they're going to want to win this game. Wilson. He looks to throw, and he throws, and he's got Andre Lewis for 12 yards over the middle. First and goal now. Going to give it to Poole. Poole will rummage his way through for the touchdown. So Utah takes the lead here early in Pasadena. Hundley's back. First and 10, he's going to give it to Jordan James, who breaks a tackle, and will get six more after that. Could have been a loss, but instead it's not. Hundley. Will throw it out of bounds on third down. So another three and out by this Utah defense. We take the ball. Poole, get the handoff. And he will get eight. Second and eight, going to give it to Poole. Poole stumbles, but he will still get three on the play. Here we go again on third and three. Wilson, he will throw. and He's got it to Greg Reese, who runs around a little bit. And will get zero. So another stop by this UCLA defense. Hundley's going to run it. Hundley's got some room. He pushes the guy down. And he gets nine and a first down. Third and five. Hundley. He's looking to throw. And he's got Massington over the middle. First down for 26. Hundley drops back again to throw. And he's got a wide open Duarte. And Thomas Duarte gets 11 that time. Hundley will now hand it off to Jordan James. Who will bounce it outside. But cut it back in. Jordan James all the way to the three-yard line. After a loss of yards, Hundley is going to go. He's going to run it himself. Brett Hundley breaks the tackle, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, UCLA. Now it's a 10-7 game, and Utah's got to answer back. Wilson, he drops back to throw. He dumps it off to James Poole on a screen. Poole's got another first down. Poole's having one heck of a game. Wilson, he drops back to throw. He's scrambling. Under pressure, he throws. And that one's picked off again by Miles Jack. His second interception of the quarter. And that was just an ill-advised throw by Travis Wilson. There was no way he was getting it through there. So Jordan James will run it. And he's going to a whole lot after he gets hit. 13 yards, and they move the chains. But after the first quarter, it's 10-7. to Utah is out of it. By no means whatsoever. Still a great game. Utah's pulling it off so far. Brett Hundley is going to fake it. He's going to run it this time. Hundley gets a block. Gets another. 
Hundley all the way down to the inch yard line. It's now on the inch. Hundley drops back to throw. He throws. And it's caught by Thomas Duarte, but there is a flag on the play. So illegal touching moves them back five. Third and goal now. Can Utah stop him? And the pass to Eldridge Massington leads to a six-yard touchdown. So UCLA increases their lead to 17 to seven. Wilson will give it off to James Poole, and Poole will get three on that run. And now Wilson will give it to Poole again. Poole will be stopped behind the line on third down. So UCLA holds them to another three and out. Hundley gives it to Jordan James. Look at James in that space. 16 yards. Hundley will give it to James again. And Jordan James working his way. Utah gave 328 yards to BYU last week. And it's looking the same against UCLA here. As he throws it over the middle. Jordan Payton on the reception. 15 yards. Hundley. He's dropping back. He throws. And he's got Peyton to get over the middle. Another 11 yards. UCLA's driving down the field. And Hundley's going to run it again. He's got a lot of space and a lot of good blocking. And he will be taken down after 12. First and goal. Now for the UCLA Bruins. Hundley looking to throw. He throws and he's got Jordan Peyton again. But another flag. So it's on Utah. So the touchdown will count. Wilson, he'll throw. He's got Harrison Hanley. Harrison Hanley's made two of those good jumping catches going up for the ball. Now he's going to fake it to Poole. Wilson's going to dump it off to Greg Reese. Reese is just going to try to get out of bounds and get some yards. Third and three now. Giving it to Poole. He's rummaging his way, and he won't quite get enough. So he'll be fourth and two, leading to another three and out for Utah. After a great punt on the two-yard line, Hundley throws it. Oh, man. He would have been gone if he would have caught that ball. Utah gets away with one on third and nine. They're going to try to run up with James, and he won't get anything. So UCLA now will be forced to punt it away. Second and seven. Wilson fakes it. He's going to scramble to the right again. And this time he's got Delshawn McClellan over the middle. 20 yards. Wilson will drop back again to throw. And this one is dangerous. And that one is picked off by Randall Goforth this time. Their third interception of the first half. You cannot be making this many turnovers if you want to beat the number one team in the country. Jordan James will run it. And he'll get two. Nothing too dramatic there. Hundley will drop back again. He will throw and a first down to Devin Lucian. Hundley again draws back to throw. He throws it and it's Duarte. Why is no one covering any of these receivers? It's crazy. Hundley drops back again. He throws. And that one is dropped by Eldridge Massington. So it'll be fourth down and they'll punt it away back to Utah. So Wilson will dump it off to Poole again. Trying to play it a little safe. And Poole will get seven. Rummaging his way through for a couple more after the hit. Poole's going to get the handoff and he's got space to the outside. He's got a little bit of speed as well. James Poole for another 15. Third and ten. The crowd is rummaging. Wilson throws. Picked off again by Randall Goforth. Are you kidding me? Their fourth interception of the first half. Travis Wilson should be ashamed. Hundley looks and he throws. Dangerous. Oh, but it's caught. Devin Lucian. Are you kidding me? With four seconds left in the half. UCLA will make it 31 to 7 and they are just beating down on us right now. We have got way too many problems defensively and offensively. On the offense, too many turnovers. Travis Wilson needs to cut down four interceptions and you cannot win giving UCLA way too good a field position here, which just leads to instant offense, especially with a fast-paced team like UCLA and defensively we need to stop them from running the ball. Their run game is just killing us, and then they just play action, and all of a sudden they're throwing the ball all over the place. As we look here, it's not been, I mean, they're close stats-wise, but the turnover differential is just brutal. Going to need to turn around. So we're going to kick it off to UCLA here to start the second half, 
And back. And Lucian will just take a knee. So Hundley will give it off to Jordan James. And James will break a tackle and break a couple more. And he's got a big gain there. So I guess our defensive strategy still isn't working to stop the run. Hundley this time. Oh my. A wide open Eldridge Massington over the middle for 35 yards. First and 10 for the Bruins. Hundley drops back to throw. He throws and oh. Orphy had a chance at the pick there, but it was caught for 12 yards. Third and two now. Going to give it to Paul Perkins. And Perkins runs it in for two yards. 38 to 7. It's a blowout right now. Poole's going to get it, and he's going to rummage his way through, and he's going to get a first down. So he's been the one bright spot of this entire team. And it's time he's going to dump it off to Greg Reese, and Reese will get three. Won't do much. Third and four coming up here for the Utes. Wilson looks, throws, and that one is tipped away. So another poor offensive possession by Utah. Hundley. Oh, he fakes everyone out. Hundley's got blocks. And he's got power, and he's going to rummage his way through for another 17. First and 10 again for UCLA. They've had a lot of first downs. And Eldridge Massington gets 12. Another first down. Our defense is just looking horrific. They cannot tackle, and they cannot take good angles. Another first down for UCLA. First down and 10. Hundley. He looks, but he is sacked this time. Jason Whittingham. He's been a defensive force all season so far. Hundley drops back. Hit by Whittingham as he throws. Jordan James will be stopped. And they'll be at the 36-yard line. A 52-yarder. Kayami Fairbairn hits it. 41-7. James Poole stopped in the backfield. Third and 14. Utah needs a big play here. Wilson throws it deep. Caught by Harrison Hanley. He's got another big catch. And this time it's Lucky Radley. He's going to get a first down on second and five. Wilson will drop back to throw again. He dumps it off to Poole. Poole will be pulled ahead for a yard. Should have lost a couple. Third and nine. Wilson, he looks. Not much pressure from UCLA. Scrambling. Now there's pressure. And a one-handed catch by Dress Anderson. Look at this again. What a catch. So now after the great catch, we got good field position in the red zone. Wilson scrambling. Looking. He's going to try to run it himself, and he will be stopped a yard short of the first down. Third and one. Give it to Greg Reese, and he's in. Touchdown, Utah. So now UCLA, 15 seconds left. Dumps it off to Eldridge Massington. He's going to go, and he's going to get all the way a uh, couple more yards. Hundley looks to throw and he's hit. And he fumbles. What a hit by Jason Whittingham. Again, he comes in with the boom. 41 to 14. I think this one's out of reach for Utah. Not much they can really do unless they amount a huge comeback. Hundley drops back to throw. He's going to scramble. And he's going to get all the way. Wow. He picked up 14. Now it's only third and six for UCLA. Hundley drops back. He's going to try to run in. Jason Whittingham gets his third sack of the game. Wow. James Poole is going to run it now. And uh, a couple. Seven. James Poole again is going to get it. And he's stopped behind the line. So we're going to go for it. We got nothing really to lose here. Wilson, he drops back, and he is sacked on the play by Eddie Vanderdoes. 41-14, Brett Hundley drops back. Screen play, Jordan James, one man, what a block. And James is going all the way. There's another touchdown for UCLA. The score just gets higher and higher. 48-14, a screen play, Dress Anderson, he loses three. And Wilson again will drop back. To throw, and he does, and it's a ooh, dangerous throw right there. Clay almost made the catch, but it'll be fourth down and 13. Utah looking. He throws, and that one is nearly picked off by Ishmael Adams. He's got three deflections in the game. And Jordan James will run it, and Jordan James will get seven on the play. So UCLA 
just trying to run up this clock and Huntley's got some space he cuts it in and there's another touchdown for UCLA Brett Huntley's got six in the game in total four passing and two rushing James Poole makes a move to the outside and he's got 10 on the rush and here we go Wilson gives it to Poole and Poole runs it ahead here we go again Wilson fakes it he scrambles out looking and he's gonna run it Wilson dives forward he's got 11 second and two Utah trying to make a drive here he throws it last play of the game Kenneth Scott with a touchdown it makes the score look a little bit better 55 to 21 UCLA flattens us by 34 and really proves that they are a huge team in this one. As you see, Brett Hundley, 336 yards. He had six touchdowns. Six touchdowns. And he only had one turnover. So Brett Hundley def definitely earns the player of the game. He was 22 for 31. He had 268 yards and four touchdowns throwing. He also ran it 13 times. He got 70 yards, and he also got two touchdowns rushing it. Travis Wilson, an awful day. 17 for 31, 182 yards, one touchdown, and those four first half interceptions really killed us. If we don't have those, that's maybe minus another 28 points. UCLA capitalized on ev almost every interception. They got points at least. James Poole, 25 rushes, 119 yards. He got a touchdown, so he had a really good day. Jordan James ran it 20 times. He had 112 yards. Jason Whittingham, he had three sacks. That was our biggest probably contribution to this game so it was a brutal one UCLA really proved that they're a good team and Utah we got way too many things to fix offensively defensively not throw as many dangerous passes but we're playing a good Stanford team they may be two and three but Stanford's always good no matter what their ranking is see you guys next week goodbye